Welcome to Storytime. Today's story is The Littlest Dinosaur by Michael Foreman. Long, long ago, when the world was young and everything was new, a mother dinosaur sat proudly on her eggs. One by one, the eggs began to crack, and baby dinosaurs poked their heads out into the sunshine, all except one. The mother worried and fussed about it and kept it warm and sang songs to it, but still the egg did not crack. The neighbors came by with help and advice. Make it warmer, they said. Keep it cool, they suggested. The mother was very loving and lay beside the egg all the time. She breathed on it to keep it warm or fanned it with a banana leaf to keep it cool. But, the, but still, the egg didn't crack. The father dinosaur wanted to break the egg open, but the mother said, No, it will happen when the baby is ready, not before. One day, the father became so tired of looking after all the young dinosaurs while the mother fussed over the egg that he put his face very close to the egg and shouted, Come on, egg! Do something! The egg shook, the egg wobbled, and then it began to crack. A little crack at first, then a big crack, and the shell broke in two. The baby dinosaur blinked in the sunlight. The father gasped. The mother dinosaur gasped. All the young dinosaurs and all the neighbors gasped. They had never seen such a tiny baby. That's the littlest dinosaur I have ever seen, said the father. He's no bigger than a dinosaur's toe. The neighbors began to giggle. Oh, he may be tiny, but he's very special to me, cried the mother dinosaur. And she scooped up the baby and kissed his tiny face. Days and weeks passed, and no matter how much food the mother dinosaur gave the baby, he didn't grow any bigger. The littlest dinosaur was sad because he was too small to join in his big his brothers and sisters when they played. And what if one of his huge neighbors stepped on him by accident. The only place the littlest dinosaur felt safe was high on a hill. There he could sit and look down on the forest. It made him feel bigger. One day, far away on another hill, he saw another dinosaur. It was a long neck. Even at that distance, he looked sad. The littlest dinosaur wondered how a dinosaur that big could possibly be sad. When the rainy se season began, the big dinosaurs squelched and rolled in the mud, but not the littlest dinosaur. He hated the mud. He was always getting stuck in the other dinosaurs' big muddy footprints and having to yell, Help! Get me out of here! One day, the father dinosaur got stuck. He was squelching and rolling in the deep mud at the edge of the river, but when he tried to get out, he couldn't. The more he struggled, the more he got stuck. Get me out of here, he yelled. The mother dinosaur tried to help, but she got stuck. The neighbors tried to help, and they got stuck. The littlest dinosaur's brothers and sisters waded in, and they got stuck too. Get us out of here, they all yelled. The littlest dinosaur wished and wished, that he were big enough to rescue them. You have to go for help, said the mother dinosaur. But who could help, wondered the little dinosaur. Then he remembered the long neck. The littlest dinosaur was scared as he stepped from the riverbank onto a water lily leaf. It tipped and dipped, but it didn't sink. One leaf at a time, he wibbled and wobbled his way across the river. Then he ran through the forest and climbed the hill, slipping and sliding, sliding and slipping, till he got to the top. There was the long neck. 
He looked down at the littlest dinosaur. Help me, please, the littlest dinosaur cried. My family is stuck in the river and the water is rising. The long neck picked him up and with great long strides was soon down the hill through the forest and at the river bank. He stretched his neck across the river and began pulling out the sinking dinosaurs until one by one they were all safe on the shore. Thank you, the father dinosaur shouted as he waved to the long neck. And as for you, he said, picking up the littlest dinosaur, you may be the size of a bug, but you're as brave as a dinosaur 100 times your size. And he kissed him on his tiny nose. When the rain stopped and the river was not so wide, the littlest dinosaur went to visit the long neck. Again, he no longer looked so sad. I thought I was too big and clumsy to do anything useful, he said, but now I know that's not true. And I thought I was too small to do anything at all, laughed the littlest dinosaur. They sat together on the hill, the biggest and the littlest, and now the greatest of friends. That's it for story time today. I hope you enjoy my reading. Um, I highly recommend going to your local library and requesting some of the books from this channel. They are my favorite books. If you want me to read your favorite, comment below what your favorites are. And subscribe for more stories. Bye!